In this lesson we take a look at angle types and naming angles. Angles are used to measure the amount of turn. And a good way to illustrate that, let's consider this blue arm. And we'll have an identical red arm there. And let's put the red arm on top of the blue arm. We're going to rotate that red arm about the vertex. At the moment there's no rotation, there's no turn, so we say zero degrees. Now we can classify angles as follows. Okay, let's start turning this red arm. An angle that's created, that's known as an acute angle. And okay, these are angles between zero and 90 degrees. So let's keep turning. All of those angles so far are acute. Okay, they're less than 90 degrees. Now once we get towards 90 degrees, okay, that angle there pointing straight up, known as a right angle. Okay, it's 90 degrees exactly. It's marked with a little square there. Now once we get past 90 degrees, then we've got obtuse angles. Now these are between 90 degrees and 180 degrees. Alright, so all of these angles obtuse. Then we're getting towards a straight angle. Okay, this is a straight angle. It equals 180 degrees exact. Now once we go past the straight angle, we get to reflex angles. Now these are between 180 degrees and 360 degrees. Now towards the end here, if we get right around the circle there, we've done 360 degrees, a revolution. Okay, so full circle there, 360 degrees. Now, an angle can be named using the letters about the angle. Let's look at some examples. We're asked to name the angles that are marked below. Now, the first one here, we've got uh, an angle mark there and a few letters around. Now, we can name this as angle PRQ. All right, so starting from P, if we were to trace this out, P towards R and then to Q. Okay, so we've traced the angle out. Angle PRQ. Or we could name it as angle QRP. We start at Q and towards R and then towards P. Again, we've traced the angle out, angle QRP. Or we could actually just name it angle R. Okay, that angle there, that's known as the vertex. The angle is at that point. This next one here, okay, try to name this angle that's marked with the red dot. Well, let's just concentrate on that. I just faded out the other line there because we're not that interested in that. Angle MST. Well, let's trace out from those letters. M towards S and then to T. We've traced out the angle. Or we could go angle TSM, okay, so starting from T towards the S and then towards M. Again, we've traced out the angle there. Now let's bring back the rest of the diagram there. Now we can't call it angle S. Okay, we just can't call it just the angle S. Reason being, there's S, there's the point S. Which would be angle S? Would it be this one? Or would it be this one? Okay, a bit of confusion there. I'm not sure, and no one else is sure either. So in this case, we could not call it angle S just by itself.